she had a fascination for the working side. They're not easy to cast the concrete with those shapes. It's an enormous amount of knowledge. And she asked me to go and photograph. Not many architects want to have photograph of the working site. She really wanted to uh, record, I call the childhood of the, of the building. And looking at the, the finished construction, I mean, it, the edges are very, very sharp, aren't they? And that wasn't something that, that is associated with her work later on. It, it's more about the curves, isn't it? Yes, yes. No, there was definitely a change. She didn't kind of embrace one style and carry on in, in, in a maybe a repetitive way. She was always challenging the technology and herself, of course, to invent new form. And um, bit by bit, she, she completely changed. One of the first really uh, example of big size building of curve. We have Wolfsburg, but then after we have Baku in uh, Azerbaijan. Which some say is the sort of supreme example of building on a grand scale, but this sort of wonderful, beautiful line sort of sweeping through the air. She managed to give a sense of uh, endless when you don't know where the line is born and where it's finished, and that's an incredible feeling. How did you find Zaha Hadid? I mean, I've heard her described as many things, including a force of nature. I mean, yeah. was she that? <laughs> she was absolutely a force of nature. There's not many words that to, to really describe her personality, her talent. You realize also you're given a gift, you have to give it to the world. Yeah.